Uh, this is the online version of the presentation that's been given at Noosa on the 6th of June about the perinatal and infant mental health nurse e-network, an email list for perinatal and infant mental health nurses. Um, first off, a little bit about uh, the history. Um, it was announced by the uh, College of Mental Health Nurses at the AGM in, in October 2011 that they would host the um, uh, e-network, and so we launched Then got 26 people in the first month. Um, last year at, at the uh, conference that mirrors this one, um, down in Melbourne, it was decided that the e-network um, basically would be um, the, the crux of the special interest group in perinatal and infant mental health for the college. And then in March this year, uh, the decision was made by the college that anybody who had expressed an interest in perinatal and infant mental health um, would automatically be joined to the network. So uh, 78 people were joined in a day, which shows here on this graph, there's a nice big spike there, in the, um, which is an obvious outlier to the uh, usual accumulation of um, subscribers per month. And, um, and I guess we see that even more when we have a look on that red line there, the uh, accumulated total. So uh, it all jumps up there in a uh, great big hurry on that day. But look, on average... Um, we get eight people joining a month. That's the adjusted average, taking out that big spike, taking out that outlier. Um, and as of the end of um, April, that gave us an accumulated total of uh, 229 subscribers. Subscribers kind of implies um, money, I think, um, but just to point out, um, subscribing to this email uh, network doesn't cost you anything in far, as far as money goes. Um, so what's it all about, who's it for and, um, and why are we doing it? Well, it's mostly for members of the uh, College of Mental Health Nurses who've got an interest in perinatal and infant mental health. Um, but you don't have to be a member of the college um, to be uh, welcome to join. So anybody who's got an interest in that area. And I guess particularly we're, we're really mindful of uh, the partnerships that we have with midwives and child health nurses or family health nurses um, and, uh, and also Indigenous health workers. Um, most of us have very strong partnerships with those people, and so they're very, very welcome to join us too. And any other interested professionals, and I know that we've got a, you know, a couple of social workers and psychologists and what have you who have um, jumped onto the email network just to see what we're up to and, and to be part of the conversation. Uh, that conversation looks a little bit like this with the messages per month, and um, on average there's about 23 messages coming through on the email network every month. Um, on that busiest month there, uh, July 2012, um, the, just out of interest, I thought I'd have a look at the three big topics to see why we got 87 uh, messages in that month. And people were talking about a, a, a subject in a Master of nurse, Nursing. There's a bit of conversation about antidepressants in pregnancy, a perennial topic of interest, and, um, and another one about um, uh, measuring and, and, and evaluating the mother-infant um, relationship. Um, so to uh, get on there, you subscribe there, and you can also unsubscribe from the same spot on, the, on that website. And, um, and then once you're on there, you've got this email address that you can send uh, emails to, and you're going to reach all 229 of those other people who are on the email network. Because it works a little bit like this diagram, I guess, where we're all um, share, sending to one address, but that address goes out to um, everybody who's uh, taken the time to subscribe. And so we're all part of that one conversation. Um, so it's not at all a, a top-down network. It's very much a shared uh, network. We all own it. How does it work behind the scenes? There's these monkeys who make everything work and um, that's terrific that they do that. It doesn't really matter how it works. Are there rules? Yes, there's rules. Uh, don't be a deal. Um, that is, um, don't go on there doing anything that you probably wouldn't do in your professional capacity anyway. So racist stuff and sexist stuff and um, you know, advertising Viagra would be inappropriate things to do. Letting people know about um, you know, conferences and jobs and that sort of thing is quite an, uh, an appropriate thing to do. Hey, I, and and I and I guess that's the other rule is to share and be generous and enjoy it. And 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 it's great when people say, oh, there's this conference coming up, or you might not have seen this journal article yet, or or um, um, do you know about this um, um, new book or whatever video? It doesn't matter. Just just get that information out there. I'll stop rambling. Um, in the real life. One, we'd stop for questions, but here we won't, and I'll just give my social media portfolio a quick little plug. There it is. That's it. Thanks for listening.
Bye.